Gentlemen, we have with us Mr. Sanjay Banga, head coach, Team India. Please raise your hand and upon my cue, you can go ahead with your question. Sanjay, uh, you know, wrapping up your ODA series, but you got a very, uh, you know, you said though, even though the ODA series wasn't that easy, but uh, are you happy that the young Ben strength really responded well when the pressure was on, uh, considering what had happened in the first match? Uh, are you really impressed by how they played in such a situation in the third match? Yeah, without a doubt, because uh, when you lose a first match in a three-match series, uh, the pressure only adds up. So, I think uh, the way we came back in the second game and uh, held our nerve, because we were tested uh, in the third game as well, because the wicket was, slight, was getting slightly difficult, it was dry, it was keeping a bit low. And the bowlers didn't really have that much of a pace, so run making wasn't really easy. Uh, but credit to Raidu and uh, Kedar for the way they consolidated the innings midway through. And after that, uh, we finished really well with uh, Akshar and Kedar again accelerating towards the end. So I thought uh, 140 was a very, very good score on that wicket, and uh, we, are, we were very confident that our bowlers would be able to defend that. If you had to pick a couple of players, who would be your player of the series for ODI and T20s both? Uh, who would be, who do you think, uh, for you personally, who really done well and uh, who you've been very encouraged by the performance in the party? I think uh, overall, generally, each one who got an opportunity uh, created an impact. Uh, they kept, they made an impression, and uh, I think uh, this experience will really stand well for them in good stead going ahead. Uh, some of the boys will go to Australia uh, with the India A team, and I think uh, the selectors were here were here for the entire duration, and uh, they were watching each and every player very closely, and I'm pretty sure that uh, they would have uh, definitely. Uh, earmarked uh, players for the future uh, from what they saw over here. Uh, that's uh, I mean, just in terms of how they handled responsibility, were you actually happy with uh, your younger batsmen, like in the T20 series, not the one day, just the T20, how they handled the responsibility? Do you think they could have done it a little better even in the first game? I mean, T20 is such a game wherein uh, it, it, consists, it consists of so many decisions that have to be made under pressure. Uh, at times, uh, uh, the decision that you make to go for a shot, uh, if it comes off, it uh, seems to be a, a terrific uh, decision. But if it doesn't come out, co comes comes off, it again, uh, you know, puts question mark on the decision making. So I feel that T20 is such a fast-paced game, such a dynamic game that uh, uh, you need to give a bit of a leeway uh, and uh, and some time and some opportunities uh, for the younger guys. But uh, all in all, I, I'm pretty satisfied the way they responded to various match situations. Uh, what about someone like uh, Kedar Jadav? I mean, he's not someone in the early to mid-20s where, like, you know, he's looking at a long-ish, like, you know, state with India. He's into his 30s or at least the late 20s. Uh, like, how like, how do you look at where he stands right now? In See, I mean, whatever uh, opportunities that he's got, uh, the last time he played for India, probably it was again a year ago, he got a 100 in the series. Uh, he didn't get too many opportunities in this series, so uh, whenever he got an opportunity, this was the only second time uh, that he went. He could go out and bat today, and he played an amazing innings because uh, he was having some issues uh, as he went in. He wasn't really feeling good, uh, but he hung hung in through and fought through. And the kind of innings that he produced uh, on a difficult wicket, I, I felt that that showed the quality of a player. So he is doing all that he can in the opportunities that he's getting, and. Uh, I mean, age doesn't really matter because uh, nowadays most of the guys are keeping themselves very fit. Uh, they are fantastic work discipline. So, I don't think age is uh, any more a matter. It's just a matter of, you know, some individual getting a couple of opportunities simultaneously and consecutively so that he feels comfortable in match situations and, uh, and I think these are quality players and they are bound to come good. Prakash? So, you know, he's played the entire series, like even in the ODI as you mentioned, Chahal got more of a focus because he bowled so well and he made his debut and Aksar has been there, has been like the constant through the series. And today, I think his spell was very crucial to sort of hold, take the game till the end. So, just a word on, on his performance. I think not only today, but uh, throughout the series, he kept that pressure on. Probably he was a most economical bowler. Uh, I didn't. I don't really know the exact stat, but 
he was very very consistent uh, he maintained that pressure throughout and not only his bowling uh, but generally the way he fielded a couple of catches that he took and uh, the way he finishes uh, the innings he got an opportunity in the two t20 games in the first and the third game and uh, he is proving uh, you know to be a very very good developing player at number 7 or number 8 who is capable of hitting the big shots uh, and i think uh, that's really encouraging for indian cricket ಮಿಂಗಲ್ವಿದ್ದೆ Uh, he he probably invited them for dinners and they had uh, uh, over playstations together so he he went out of the way to make them feel comfortable shared his uh, uh, experience with the younger guys uh, probably emphasized on the value of how to handle pressure under match situations what are the things that require to be done uh, so i think uh, those were enormous learnings and uh, what he also did fantastically was uh, uh he passed on the tradition of indian cricket because uh, these uh, younger lord are the future of indian cricket and uh, the way he shared his experience was was very very similar to how the earlier generation used to pass on the knowledge and the experience and just you know uh, to make uh, a new uh, younger player comfortable in uh, in the dressing room so he made all that effort and it was very very uh, uh, great to see